Now let's do question two. This one's also a balancing reaction. How many hydrogen atoms are in the balanced equation that represents the reaction of hydrogen and nitrogen gas used to form ammonia, NH3? So what's going on here is we have hydrogen gas and nitrogen gas forming ammonia gas. Now remember, hydrogen and nitrogen are diatomics. So they exist as H2 gas plus N2 gas form an H3 gas. Okay? Next, what we need to do is we need to balance it. So, we have two nitrogens on this side and one nitrogen on this side. So let's add that. And finally, we have six hydrogens on this side, so we need to put a three here. And so this is my balanced equation. Now, it says here how many H atoms are needed for this equation. Well, let's think about it. We have three moles because of this coefficient. And I should say, actually, we have three moles of H2 because we are using H2, not just H. Next, what we're going to say is we're going to say for every one mole the teaching of center. H2, you have learning resource there center. are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, not atoms, but molecules, because H2 is a diatomic, and there's two atoms that make up a molecule of H2. So finally what we say is for every one molecule of H2, there's two atoms of H. And so we do the voodoo magic known as math, and if we plug it into our calculator, we find out that we have around 3.61 times 10 to the 24 H atoms. And finally, you have your answer.